the next topic is the nature of the roots of quadratic equation. We know that the quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 we have two roots alpha and beta that is roots are minus b plus minus b square minus 4ac upon 2a ok there are two roots alpha and beta once positive once negative now this b square minus 4ac is called as b square minus 4ac is called as discriminant and it is denoted by letter delta so delta is b square minus 4ac which is called as discriminant of quadratic equation and based on this delta we can judge the nature of the roots now let us quickly write here what are the nature of the roots when delta is known ok let us quickly write there the nature of roots depending on the delta if delta is greater than 0 then the roots are real and unequal different roots now if the discriminant is equal to 0 then the roots are real and equal if discriminant is less than 0 then we don't have no real roots we don't have any real root no real roots next if discriminant is perfect square if discriminant is a perfect square then the roots are rational and unequal then the roots are rational and unequal next if delta is not perfect square if delta is not perfect square then the roots are irrational now suppose if the delta is greater than 0 that means the roots are real and unequal but if delta is greater than 0 but delta is not perfect square the delta is greater than 0 but delta is not perfect square then the roots are conjugate of each other's for this this is just an amendment that means if it is greater than 0 and not perfect square then the roots are conjugates of each other that means if one root is for example if one root, one root is 1 minus 2 root 3 the second root will be 1 plus 2 root 3 these are called as the conjugates of each other now based on this now mind well you have to write down this completely in your notes ok I told you to make a separate book of notes so all the formulas everything you have to write in the notebook so friends we have seen the nature of roots now let us see the examples which comes on this topic the first kind of example is very very simple in this it says that find a value of discriminant for each of the following questions that means they will give some quadratic equations and you have to find a discriminant let us see one or two examples of this kind ok the given quadratic equation is 
x square plus 4x plus 1 equal to 0 and we have been asked to find a value of discriminant for this quadratic equation. This is very very easy just like the previous examples first you have to compare this with ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 and then you have to find out the value of a b and c so let us find the value of abc here here the a is 1 b is 4 and c is 1 then what is the discriminant discriminant is b square minus 4ac that is discriminant is denoted by letter delta is equal to b square minus 4ac that is equal to 4 square minus 4 into 1 into 1 that is 16 minus 4 which is 12. This is the first kind of question. This question may be asked for uh, one mark at the most. But as, as far as my concern, I don't think this kind of question they will ask. They will further modify the question to determine the nature of roots depending on the discriminant. Another kind of example is determine the nature of roots of the following question, equations from their discriminant. That means they will give one quadratic equation and you have to find out the nature of roots for that quadratic equation based on discriminant. Let us see one example. Now in this case they may give the quadratic equation in different forms. That means you have to first simplify it or uh, to compare with the ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 then find out a, b and c then find out the discriminant and based on the discriminant you have to decide what kind of or what is the nature of roots for that particular quadratic equation. So let us solve one example for this. The given equation is x square minus 2x x square minus 2x plus 9 by 4 equal to 0. Now if you can eliminate if you want to eliminate 4 you can eliminate nothing harm in that. Let us eliminate this 4. So multiplying this equation by 4 we get 4x square minus 8x plus 9 equal to 0. I will compare with a, a square plus ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0, a is equal to 4, b is equal to minus 8 and c is equal to 9. So your discriminant b square minus 4 ac is 64 minus 4 into 4 into 9. Calculate this, pause your video, complete complete this calculation and find out the value of discriminant. So it is 64 minus 144 your answer is minus 80. Now your discriminant is less than 0 so there are no real roots. Just I hope you have written it down in your notes book. So it is negative term, negative number which is less than 0 and so the nature of roots is delta is less than 0, no real roots. So similarly there are a number of questions, you will be given a quadratic equation and you will be asked to find out the nature of roots. So I hope you understood how to do this. The third kind of question is find a value of k if the given equation is 4x square 4x square equation they are given is 4x square minus 3kx 3kx plus 1 equal to 0 
we have to find out the value of k. What other information they are given? They are given that this equation has got a real and equal roots. Now just check when we get the real and equal roots when the discriminant is 0. So we have to find out the value of k when they are given that the discriminant is 0 as the roots are real and equal. Okay, so let us find a discriminant. Discriminant is b square minus, first of all you have to write this. We will just write a is equal to 4, b is equal to minus 3k and c is equal to 1. Discriminant b square minus 4ac is 0. We know that because the roots are real and equal. So here we get 9k square as b square minus 4 into 4 into 1 equal to 0. So 9k square minus 16 equal to 0. So 9k square equal to 16. We can take square root of both the sides. So we will get 3k is equal to plus minus 4 and here we get k is equal to plus minus 4 upon 3. So this is the answer and this is how we are going to find out the value of k. Okay. So I think these two kind of examples are most likely asked in this topic like a discriminant and let us see question set 2.6. So friends we have learned this topic thoroughly we have solved some examples for practice but we are going to solve all the exercises which are given in the book along with the problem set then the hots some paper solutions everything we are going to solve for further solution of exercises and problem set please purchase our DVD. You can buy our DVD online by visiting our websites. The address for the websites or the place where you can buy your DVDs are given just below this video in the description. Thank you very much.